Um, Abdulaziz, hello, uh, Mahaba, welcome. Thank you very much for, for doing this, uh, this uh, interview. Um, just so everyone knows, uh, this is Abdulaziz Mosa. Um, I'm proud enough to say that he works for the Saudi Professional League, um, which is, you know, rolling on from who we spoke to last week um, for the Portuguese League. So it's really good to get an insight into these different leagues. And um, I'm really excited to have you. Thank you again, Abdulaziz, for doing this. Thank you, my friend, Andrew. Let me, I'm very happy to be seeing you here. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Let me, let me start off by um, asking you a little bit about what your opinion is on small-sided football, you know, matches such as 3v3, 2v2, and how is it viewed in, in Saudi Arabia? To be honest, uh, like recently, we don't have any idea about that, but like since you joined this company, I like make an uh, overview about that. What's three against three uh, equipment? It's very useful these days, like inside everywhere during, especially during the pandemic. I think families, communities, clubs, everyone around the world have to uh, like bring uh, these equipments in their house, in their gardens, in the everywhere because it's keep their under health and like raise their energy to be in good uh, mental health. It's very important. They can like uh, practice their uh, favorite games as a football in uh, small and tiny places uh, when they're using this uh, equipment. I like it. Uh, like, uh, and I like uh, the way they made it by like some logos put it in and some good designs. So I think it will be uh, in, 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 in many uh, countries around the world as soon as possible. Yeah, that's, that's a really good answer. And <clears throat> it's interesting to hear you say like how the pandemic has kind of pivoted people towards small-sided football, getting it in their gardens, um, you know, purchasing bazooka goals um, in order to play um, because maybe you can't go to the pitch and maybe you can't get together with your friends or you can't get together with your team. Um, so it's a really good idea that, you know, the, it, it maybe it brings the family closer together. Um, give me your insight and your opinion on why small-sided football uh, is important. What benefits are there? Uh, to be honest, I, I know about like technical ways, but I will say about that, how these goals unite people such as when you put these two goals, small goals in the street and make like some challenge be between people who like walking or people who are sitting around there. It will be make some kind of fun. It will be make uh, some kind of interesting and like uh, make new relationship with others and play everywhere. It's, this is football. Football, it's uniting us in some place. We love football. We love we love lo playing football everywhere in small place, big place with small uh, uh, like goals or big goals. I like it to be honest, and I think it will be very very uh, popular in uh, in the future because it's like you can put it everywhere in the street, behind the garden, as well in some rooms and some houses. It's very very good. Yeah, that's that's an interesting answer as well because. You know, I talk to people a lot about what their ideas of, uh, you know, the benefits of small-sided football are. And everyone, you know, talks about the technical ability, um, you know, quick passes, short things like that. But it's interesting to hear your perspective and how um, the benefits of small-sided football is bringing people together, getting a, a game going really quickly, um, doing it in your backyard, in your basement, in your bedroom, in your living room, um, right on the street. Uh, there's more to it than just, um, you know, the technical aspect, um, you know. Uh, in this day and age, um, a lot of people lose sight about what the main point of football is. And for me, it's to have fun. And what more fun to, than to, to get together with your friends, play a little two on two, three v three, even one on one. It doesn't matter. Um, as long as it's bringing people together, getting people outside. Another thing during the pandemic was um, people being stuck inside. They can't go out. Um, football's always been a brilliant escape mentally. And I think it's going to help a lot of people mentally escape from, you know, the, the, the hordes of the, of this pandemic. Totally agree. Totally agree. Andrea, like, to be honest, just uh, like start in my, my uh, mind, I to like bring like this 
uh, goals and what it's in my uh, to prove in my house because like it's a good place to to play with my friend with my uh, relatives as well as it's like interesting yeah so do you think small side of football if given the chance in Saudi Arabia would take off and would become popular and if so you know what are the best ways for small-sided football to evolve over the next five to ten years within Saudi Arabia? To be honest, not just in Saudi Arabia, it's in the region. Uh, it's a good idea to rise and increase the health mentality. It's important topic, health mentality. People, unfortunately, people these days uh, like feel boring when they're stuck, when they under this pandemic, they can't go everywhere, can't uh, practice, can't walk. It's it's huge problem. Mm. So the like the best way to 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 rise the health and the good mentality to play the interesting and enjoyable games such as football in anywhere, any place, to prove the garden in the room everywhere just to make a practice to play with anyone to like uh, make fun i think uh, bazooka goals will be uh, very very like interesting in the future not just in saudi arabia everywhere in in asia as well because it's like it's like good thing during this pandemic you can put it everywhere you can hiring everywhere you can put it in the car so it's i like it it's it's uh, like interesting and it's there is huge market in Asia to 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 be as in the future. Yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. The market, um, you know, within Saudi Arabia and the the surrounding region, and if we go a little farther east to the rest of Asia, um, what is the market like in terms of interest? Do you think that uh, the interest within small sided football and purchasing, you know, pop up goals um, will become more, or do you think there are other sports that the regions play more, maybe 11 versus 11, um, maybe basketball, maybe um, handball, there's other sports. How does small-sided football fit into the future of the region's sports as well as um, the rest of Asia? In Asia, the first uh, popularity is football. And the majority of people playing football. But football, you find it everywhere, every country, every house. So the percentage of uh, football lovers is more than 70%. So this is a huge number of people like playing and like football. So it's huge markets. If people like football, they will like every equipment regarding football, like balls, like sides uh, three and three, everything. So I think uh, that's what we'll find like uh, their interests, to be honest, because it's it's new thing and uh, smart thing and like it's good for everyone. It's not just for clubs. No, everyone, every house, every people can like using this uh, equipment to play everywhere. So I think the market, it will be huge for them, will be open, uh, will be welcome as well. Cool. And what is the benefit of small-sided football? when it translates to the larger game, 11 versus 11. How do you see small-sided football um, helping people grow for the much larger game, uh, the full-size the full game, if you will, 11 versus 11? And in my like, little bit of perspective in technical things, I think it will be helpful for uh, people working in technical side. They, that will help all for like, increase the concentration in players goalkeepers how can they like uh like shot the ball in in, in small tiny place and be successful and so it's i think that will will help the, will help them uh, significantly yeah absolutely you nailed it on the head i think that's a, a really good point um and just to to sign off here um give me your experience playing small sided football you know whether it was 15 years ago, whether it was two two months ago, um, give me give me your background on on your your experience with uh, with uh, small sided football. To be honest, uh, I didn't have any idea about that before, but when I talk with you 
one month or two months ago about your internship you told me about bazooka company it's like for three uh, three sites it's like new things and like i directly ask you ask asked you about the, the the link for the website to like going there and approach everything they're doing so it was new experience for me and i thought i found interesting to to like uh, thinking about that in the future yeah cool well abdul aziz um i really appreciate your your time and your effort into this interview and um what we'll do is, is we'll get you some time in Portugal uh, when we can meet up. Uh, we should play a little small-sided game and uh, give you a little taste of, of what it's like. I think it's really important to know that even though you haven't played, it's that in itself is important because it gives me a benchmark as to, okay, how popular is it? Because, you know, I've talked to some of my other Saudi friends and, um, you know, it's, uh, it's not something that they've been interested in uh, or not interested in, but haven't known about either. So spreading the word, um, you know, this this talk with you and how you'll go back and, and speak with uh, with your, I mean, I think you're going back to Saudi Arabia in a couple of days <clears throat> and, you know, you can go back and talk with the Saudi Professional League um, about the benefits of, of small-sided football um, and Bazooka Goal in particular. And um, yeah, who knows? Maybe the we'll, next thing we'll know will be the official provider of the Saudi Professional League uh, for, for small-sided training goals. Uh, why not? It's like uh, good equipment for everywhere, not just for the league. So uh, I will be happy to talk about everyone about that and like increase the awareness about this, uh, this equipment. Perfect. Well, Abdul Aziz, thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. And um, I hope to... Uh, to see you when you return back from Saudi Arabia. Thank you. I hope so. Thank you. Have a great Thank day. Thank you, my friend. Thank you Thank very you. much as well. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.